Are you already bored? I haven't even started and you're already bored. Alright guys. It is a cloudy gloomy but a getting warmer each night here and the collapse of everything as springtime returns to Dunnellen, Florida after our two days of winter. And Lord, heading to the mid-80s in the next couple of days. But uh, right now it is a Monday night. It is January 22nd, 2024. And as some of you, uh, I'm sure, recall, it was one week ago that we began a new feature here at Collapse Chronicles Good News Monday, where we comb through all of the various my email alerts from people in the mainstream media and medium.com and looking for good news for doomers and I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that th this might start getting a little repetitious uh, we'll see how it goes uh, that we're not just repeating ourselves but good news does bear repeating. So we have good news coming out of three countries tonight. We have good news coming out of England, good news coming out of China, and good news coming out of Portugal. And it's the same good news, but we're going to start out there over the pond and this is specifically, I'm pretty sure, looking at the United Kingdom uh, titled Childless Future Birth Rates Plunging as Millennials Decide Against Being Parents. There you go. This is, as I say, this is coming out of Southampton, UK, so I'm assuming these stats are mainly talking about England. <clears throat> Less than one-fifth of millennials, specifically those between the ages of 26 and 35, are, cer are certain that they want to become parents one day. This inclination further diminishes among individuals with pronounced environmental concerns. Simply put, four in five young millennials want to remain childless. There you go. Especially if they dwell on climate change concerns. So, as I think I was saying last week, we have to keep cranking out the climate change doomer news uh, not because the climate change doomer news is going to do one thing to reverse climate change however if it can do one thing to reverse breeding since breeding is the root cause of climate change and every other environmental and social and every other problem on this planet since breeding is the number one environmental crime going on on the planet whatever we can do as doomers to, uh, to scare the shit out of any clueless moron thinking about bringing a child onto this planet we need to crank up the doom and gloom, the climate alarmism, if that's what it takes. Uh, we need more climate alarmism if it means one fewer child born on this planet. Anyway, back to the study. The study conducted by the University of Southampton and the Generations and Gender Program gathered insights on attitudes towards children 
family and various political issues, it involved a sample of 7,000 individuals ranging from 18 to 59 years old in the United Kingdom. The findings revealed a correlation with the nation's declining birth rate, highlighting a drop in the number of young adults planning to have children, only 19% of younger millennials expressed a definitive desire to have children, while 30% leaned towards probably wanting children. Well, that's not very good news. Uh, among older millennials between the ages of 36 and 41, 36% were certain they will not have children and another 20% were leaning leaning toward not having them. Alright, so some good news. Uh, the percentage of millennials who are disinclined to have children increases among those with stronger environmental concerns. Uh, anyway, uh, th then I get a little confused about this part uh, here at the end, about, general, about Gen Z, those age 18 to 24, I'm not clear this is, just sounds a little weird to me. However, the trend appears different for Generation Zers age 18 to 24. Data shows that those in this age group who are more likely to desire children are also more concerned about environmental and climate issues. Huh. I, 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 anyway, um, and then this professor, one of the authors of the study, says this may be because some younger people do not intend to have children for other reasons, or it could be that Generation Zers who would like to have children are more worried about the planet that their children will inherit. That make that that sentence makes absolutely no sense in in light of these in light of the data. I don't know what that person was smoking. But anyway, all in all some good news. So uh how about, uh, let's go over there to China, where we find China's population time bomb is about to explode. This is one of these, uh, this is one of these articles. This is from the Telegraph, which is kind of England's version of Fox News where they treat uh, a declining birth rate as, as bad news, uh, which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, just diving down into it. However confident, you know, that little dictator over there, however confident the little dictator may feel in his autocratic grip on the Chinese Communist Party, he seemingly lacks both the vision and means to reverse China's slide into a classic middle-income trap. The CCP's expected economic bounce back after the pandemic has not materialized 
IMF forecasts are bleak. Yes, for 60 years, the Chinese population grew, and we now learn it is beginning to contract. Uh, the death rate last year was the highest in China since 1974. And I, I, you know, I do need to add in here, guys, that an increasing death rate is not even this doomer's uh, preferred method of saving a planet is to increase the death rate. Uh, but it is a very good way to do it. Uh, not, it's not as good of a way to save a planet as to decrease the birth rate because, you know, when you're increasing the death rate, it's generally, you know, old sick people uh, who have already bred, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, once somebody's past breeding age, you know, it's we've got to keep the potential future breeders from ever entering the gene pool. So while every species of earthling on the planet is cheering on increasing the human death rate, uh, it's not as good as the next part. Uh, oh, then I like this how the telegraph it says this, but even more alarming, but of course meaning even more celebratory, the 2023, China's 2023 birth rate fell by 5.7% the lowest recorded in Chinese Communist Party history. There you go. And we have a massive demographic Tom time bomb ticking in China. There you go. Uh, The uh, Communist Party has recently adopted policies to encourage its young generations to have more children. However, that's proving much more difficult to achieve this than it was to bully people to have fewer children. <clears throat> uh... The population are unimpressed by the various material incentives to increase uh, fertility. Uh, the young people of China are increasingly inclined to passive resistance to the party's transactional interference in their private lives. Since the pandemic hit, Chinese social media have been full of nihilistic, disaffected exchanges between young people about the gap behind the little dictator's fabricated China dream and their own hopeless existence. The realities are stark. Last year, 11.6, they said 11.6 billion, I think they mean, I think they, I think that was wrong. I don't think there were 11.6 billion people graduating Chinese universities, I'm assuming that means last year 11.6 million Chinese graduates tried to enter the workforce one 
in five is likely to remain unemployed and others who did find work who are victims to an obsolete ethic of unrewarded hard work and sacrifice, they prefer, prefer to do the bare minimum and abandon vain hopes of career advancement, an approach known as lying flat. I love that term, lying flat. Meaning the uh, more and more young Chinese people are, are understanding that the Chinese dream, which was just, you know, the American dream that Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger tried to import over to China in the late 70s, uh, you know, about 50 years ago, more and more of these younger generations are looking at the Chinese slash American dream and figuring out it sucks and it needs to go. We were talking about that last that, that last week too and uh, they have no interest in, in, in this crap and they sure as shit have no interest in uh, having children Hallelujah. But we're going to wind up over here at medium.com. This article by this 34 year old woman, R.C. Almeida. Here, meaning in Portugal, nobody has children anymore. There you go. So according to R.C. The, uh, the birth rate in Portugal is zero, zero, zero. Well, it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not that good of news, but you know what she's saying. Uh, when asked about potential parenthood back in my college days, all my classmates' answers were the same. Nobody wanted children. It was practically a given among all of us. If someone did want them, they were seen as some alien or someone rooted in conservative traditions that were quite foreign to us. Uh, there you go. And apparently, as far as she can tell in her, you know, this she didn't provide any statistics. This is just looking around at her own circle of friends, uh, including herself, the years passed without me noticing, but this feeling of unwanted parenthood has remained with all of us. And this feeling can be extended to the entire middle class which finds itself struggling to stay that way. Of my close friends, <coughs> no one is a parent <coughs> or wants to become one. Not even the only one who once said she had maternal feelings talks about being a mother anymore. There you go. I'm talking about the generation that was born in the late 80s and the early 90s in Portugal. Now we're all roughly between the ages of 34 and 37. Uh, and if we look more specifically at women's fertility, we're all starting to pass our sell-by date or at least those years when we thought that anything would get us pregnant are long gone. Hallelujah. And uh, so we are finding this uh, story showing up in more and more countries. So. Uh, 
you know, every time we can find one news story or essay or whatever talking about one less human on this planet is good news. It, it, it's good news for the, uh, the non-parents of the unborn child. It sure is shit. Damn good news for the unborn child who doesn't have to be born onto this planet. And it's damn good news for every other Earthling. Uh, the little uh, planet nibbling brat would have had to share the planet with. The number one threat to planet Earth is humans. So, the only solution to the number one problem on the planet is to make the planet a human-free zone by increasing the death rate or decreasing the birth rate hopefully down to zero. So, uh, we will be back next Monday and it, 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 you know guys, if this just turns into every week that I'm just kind of repeating the same story, uh, we'll see, but uh, hopefully this, this story will be a regular feature uh, all over the place as more and more people uh, pull their heads out of their asses and realize the end is not near, the end is here. This is the end. We are living in the end times. This is life in the end times. It's that simple. You don't have to be a preacher. You just have to be a, a population ecologist to wear this shirt. Anyway, the end of the dirty dishes in my sink is near because I have to go, uh, to go wash dishes while I still can since the dishwasher collapsed. Bye guys.